global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. It looks like in Nigeria it is now almost a norm to keep getting negative news emanating from the country. Uh, 99% now these days you put on your ears, you try to listen to news, it seems to be wonderful news. God really needs to you know, intervene in the issue of Nigeria. Fairly recently, barely one week ago, four pensioners uh, on their way to protest on the, while, while they were protesting, they slumped uh, because they've not been paid their gratuities. They were protesting over their pensions and a gratuity that was not they were not paid and four of them very aged people they fell slumped on the floor and that was what we have although they were recovering us at the last time we heard but this all this is i'm talking about is actually coming from emo state but now we have a pressing breaking news right now and this, this one is a rather sad one uh, it was one thing to protest it's another thing to protest and not being beaten as hoodlums on Tuesday assaulted pensioners who were at Imo State Government House in Oware, the state capital, to protest their five months on paid pensions and gratuities. This is the fifth time in less than a month that the senior citizens were protesting their non-payment of pensions and gratuities by Governor Hope Uzadima-led administration. Trouble started when thugs clutching canes formed a barricade stopping the pensioners from approaching the government house main gate last week they tried they, they tried a protesting but four of them slumped but let's continue the senior citizens who were resolute in their demands defiled the situation which led to the flogging by the flo by the thugs as in practically flogging our aged parents let's continue while the retirees were shouting and sobbing crying a detachment of police operatives led by an assistant commissioner of police, A.J. Moses, arrived at the scene. While the cops dispersed the thugs, the police chief started appealing to the pensioners, aged people, aged mothers and fathers of Imo State. Let's continue. Our correspondent who most monitored the situation heard the police chief telling the pensioners to work with the appropriate organs of the government, but the pensioners in return told A. ACP that they are exhausted, they have all exhausted all avenues of reconciliation with the government. The pensioners accused the government of being insensitive to their plights. One of the pensioners, Ebenezer Ibekwe, who spoke to the journalist, said that the thugs were sent by the government, she said. As he said, Ibekwe, who men mentioned that he retired as a secondary school principal in 2011, said the thugs had poured water on them on their way to the government house in a bid to stop them from embarking on the protest. The retirees said that no amount of intimidation by the state government would stop them from continually demanding that their pensions and gratuities be paid to them. He said thugs were flogging us, their fathers and their mothers. I pity them because they have dug their own graves. At Warehouse Junction, while we were coming, they accosted us and were pouring us water. We pouring water on us. This has never happened in this state before. The monies we worked for and the government is sending urchins, idiots, never to do well to assault people who are old enough to be their fathers, mothers, and grandparents. Let's continue. He went further to say, when contacted, the senior special assistant to the governor on print media, Mod Modestus Mwakpa, said that the thugs did not flog the pensioners. He, however, said that the, pe the state government was frowning at illegal protests in the state. Please, which one is illegal protest? Let's continue. One part said that the government had discovered that most of the protesters were ghost pensioners who were being used by the opposition, po opposition politicians to discredit the performance of the government. Whew. Let's quickly take one or two comments. Then we'll go back to analysis. This one I said, if you check very well how much each of them got, Pata Pata is 2K by the time they, they buy Tramadol and Arizona and they add it with small Otashi. You don't finish useless youth. But let's quickly go to the analysis and let's 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 look at this thing critically. To start with, I don't know which one is illegal protest. I also do not know which one is legal protest. But the last time I checked Nigerian constitution, protest is very much in our constitution and it is very legal. 
in all sin, sin economies, in all sin countries, protest is allowed. Why is called peaceful protest? There should not be any bloodshed or any form of fight. That's why sometimes the security agencies are there to, to, to monitor the protest. So I don't understand what is meant by illegal. If oppositions, even oppositions, they have the right to protest. It's, it's a constitutional right for all citizens of Nigeria. Even in the world, where democracy, true tenets of the democracy is being practiced. Now that said, now let's come to culture. Even if they give you one million naira to beat your father, you will agree? You want your destiny to bend? For crying out loud, these guys have worked. Can you imagine 2011? Some persons have retired. They have served their fatherland. They have served their state. They've paid their dues. They've paid their pay tax. Pay as you earn tax. They've paid. They, their blood is in the land of Imo state. And for whatever reasons, they're not paying their pensions. They've not been paid their gratuities. And you expect them to fold their hands and stay back at home and say, all is well. God will settle us. When where they can get the settlement is right there in front of them. If they have exhausted all avenue, can you imagine somebody who graduated, who have, who who was retired since 2011, not getting his gratuities and pensions? Where do you want him to get fed? Now he's saying, look, I've, I've, we have exhausted all avenues. Just last week, four of them slumped while protesting. This is COVID-19. Even in pandemic, they're on the streets. On that rain, on that sun, they're coming out to protest. If they have been fed or if they've been paid, why would they want to go on the street to protest? This is really appalling if you ask me. Why don't the, 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 the parastatters that are involved in this, all the uh, Hope of the man led uh, uh, government, look into this matter critically. Call them into a stakeholders meeting. What is going on? Have you not been paid? Okay, let's go through uh, the rudiments. How are you retired and whatever? Find out where, whose table is lagging behind, who is, whose table is holding onto these people's pensions and gratuity, and so that it can move to the next table so they can get paid. It's as simple as ABC. Dialogue is always the key. Look, it doesn't pay to use force, to use thugs, to flog old men and women. How have we degenerated to this level? They give you 2,000, whatever amount they give to you to flog your grandma, that, your grandma, you agreed, you agreed. Eh? They, are, they told you to, whatever it is, they told you, even if they tell you, barricade them. All right, okay, fine, just tell them, ma, ma, please, don't go beyond, ma, please, ma, ma, no. Whatever it is, just plead with them. They're exercising their franchise. Plead with them. Understand their pledge, but don't flog them. Now, if this old woman begin to knee down now and begin to lay courses, that is the next generation they already really know. Why would you want to flog old men and women for crying out loud in their own rights? Let's assume, we want to assume, we are agreeing now that they are ghost workers. Do you flog ghost workers? They are still, whether they are ghost workers or, or yes or no, they are still aged. Okay, there are still there are still ways around it. Call a stakeholders meeting. Let them know that look, the reason why we are not paying your pension is simply because we discovered that you're ghost workers. How then did they become ghost workers? If one of them is saying that he 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 was retired in 2011, he he served and he was retired in 2011. How then did he become a ghost work, worker? Maybe they're merging it, or maybe they're mixing things up so that you can look into it, so that the real people who deserve to be paid pensions and gratuities do not suffer negligence, and somebody somewhere. Have the tenerity, the effort, the, the the audacity to beat, carry king and flog injured men and women on the street over their rights. Ah, Nigerians, we have to be careful the way we do things here. Oh. We are beginning to lose it totally. Old men and women on their rights. They are not begging you to feed them. They are not begging you to give them crumbs. They are saying you should give them the gratuity of what they have sweated for over the years. After meritorious works, over their youthful life, they served in that state. And they are saying, please pay us for our services because by virtue of constitution, we deserve pensions and gratuity. And we are saying, of whatever reasons it is, dialogue has always been the key, not force. And they are employed the services of youths. Youths. 
and you agree that you want your lives to be bent by flooding your grandpas and grandmas who are exercising their franchise. I don't know. I, I, I really, I would honestly, I would love to hear the, uh, the governor of Imo State to address this. I pray also that God gives him wisdom to do what we call stakeholders meeting, dialogue, find out the root of this problem and settle it once and for all. It's becoming a reoccurrence. It has been reoccurring always in this dispensation these few months. That's why we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our comment section. What's your take on the fact that dogs now are flogging our old men and women, aged men over their rights? Listen, Tara, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more updates on this and much more.